Hi, it's Essie here with a process video for a 12 by 12 layout for the Facebook group, The Love of Pretty Paper Alpha Relay Challenge. Each week, a member of the group presented the challenge previously chooses something beginning with a letter to use on your layout. This week, the letter was W and our group member Tracy chose wax, um, which has um, perplexed some. Um, challenged others um, and we've seen some lovely lovely um, wax crayon melting pro um, projects going on. I'm using an aqua wax paper batik medium which uh, I purchased through Colorcraft. Oops sorry I bashed my head on the camera there. It dries really quickly and as you can see I've just applied it to straight to the basil um, white cardstock. I haven't used any gesso or anything else it really doesn't need it and because I'm using distress inks um, to get the resist effect rather than anything um, like inks or paints that's wet medium I didn't need um, a primer or to use um, a mixed media cardstock. So I've poured my distress inks um, from my drawer and I've chosen spun sugar, worn lipstick, tattered rose and ripe persimmon. I end up, actually don't end up using the tattered rose, but I just pulled the colours out that went with the uh, papers that I've chosen for my photograph. So I'm starting, I started off with the spun sugar, blending in from the card mat, from the craft mat onto my cardstock, and I've now moved on to the worn lipstick to bring in some slightly deeper colour. And there with the ripe persimmon, which I can't say. I'm not going to use it again so that I don't have to say it. Just brings in a lovely corally tone. And now I've got my three main areas of colour. I'm going to use the ink left on my craft mat just to blend in around the edges to connect that colour up. All the way around. Um, I did ink up a tag as well. Um, I, I'd used the petite medium on it um, when I done the when I did the twelve by twelve. I don't end up using it on the layout, but I ink it up anyway, and I'm sure it'll come in for another project somewhere. And now I'm just going to use um, a bit of ink that's left on the craft sheet, adding a little bit more worn lipstick there. Um, and I'm going to spritz that with water and use that to flick some splatters over uh, my page. Just with a paintbrush, just adds a bit more detail. I like a bit of splattering. So I've chosen my papers. I've pulled out some sheets from the 6x6 six six, um, Maggie Holmes Flourish paper pad. Um, which was an add-on with the May Lottie Loves Paper Kit. And I've got a beautiful 12 by 12, which is Jen Hadfield um, Patio Party. That sheet is Pebbles, and it's my last 12 by 12 sheet from um, the paper pack that came with the Lottie Loves Paper May Kit. I decided I wanted a border around my page, so I've gutted the middle of that um, patterned paper, so I've got the middle bit left still to use, and I've trimmed off half an inch from the from two edges, um, uh, well the bottom and the left hand edge of my basil cardstock, and I'm just lining up there so I get a quarter of an inch border all the way around. Now I've got my photos and I'm layering those up. This is my great niece and my dad, um, who's her great granddad, um, obviously, and she just adores him. And this is them at a party um, at my sister's last year, last in the summer. Um, and she is absolutely soaking wet because they had a jumpy castle um, and um, Put water down the slide so that they could uh, slide down a water a water created their own water slide basically it was very hot and um she's soaking wet bless her and uh, sitting on great granddad's lap in her wet dress and cardi 
but they're still smiling. So just deciding where I want the paper layers to go, which way round I want those coloured stripes. Trimming off, I was trimming off the edges there so that they were so that it was square. Um, so I could get straight edges for that layer. And I think I finally decided that that's what I'm going to do. And gluing it down using uh, a square of foam, fun foam, to put my photo down. Um, I do so prefer this to a uh, 3D foam. It's it creates a sturdier, a sturdier uh, uh, pad for it to sit on. And um, if you put it in the middle, you can uh, still tuck things around the edges. So then I decided that my background needed a bit more detail. I wanted to do some stamping. Um, I found this pretty heart stamp, which was a freebie on the front of a craft stamper magazine uh, many moons ago. And I've got a little stamp set from the Dear Lizzie Saturday collection. And I've lifted out the Just Love phrase and the ampersand. And I'm using Archival Ink mini ink pads, which is so handy. I love Archival Inks and these little minis are so handy. Um, and I think I've got the coffee, the sepia and the black. And then I also come in with another stamp. It's sort of a hatch um, detail. It's a paper artsy stamp. I think it's Joe Firth Young. Um, just to add a bit more detail to the background. And now that stamping's dry, I've uh, stuck my paper layers down with my photos and I'm just adding the title there. As you can see, I cut out the uh, the background paper that the um title was stuck on so that I could play about with my title and get the positioning right and um, I cut it off the sheet without unsticking it and, and then I'm, I've pulled out um, some bits and pieces from um, ephemera packs and embellishment um, packs uh, just fiddling around seeing what I want to put where. Those flowers are from the Maggie Holmes sticker book and I have stuck them on some white card and fussy cut around the edges. Um, I love the stickers, but they are very thin. So if you want to use them for anything other than just straight down on a sheet of paper, um, you need to put them on cardstock first. And I've made a decision. So I'm sticking down. I think that's a Vicky Booten. Um, piece from one of her ephemera packs. I think that uh, bracket is as well. And then I've got some word, um, some phrases from the sticker book. And that little uh, that heart is as well from the sticker book. And I'm using a pin flare glue gel um, in a syringe to stick a lot of these embellishments down. Um, I really like how forgiving it is. Um, you can um, put the embellishments down and move them around, push them a bit flatter, put some more glue on to have them a bit more raised. Um, there's lots and lots of flexibility with that rather than um, just the foam pads where you're stuck with the dimension and once they're stuck, they're stuck. So as you can see, I wanted that green butterfly, um, but I hadn't stuck on cardstock, so I've just stuck it down. And cutting it out to make it sturdy enough to use as a 3D detail. Sticking the flowers, tucking them in around the sides. And then um, I decided, yeah, I couldn't, I I was I wanted that badge on somewhere, but it, it wouldn't go the flare button, so I gave up but did um decide I wanted that butterfly up there. And there I'm pretty much done apart from um, I wanted some gold um, detail to balance the title so I've added a gold uh, a, a heart and a little leaf flourish which I add in on the left hand side and they're from the crate um, flourish 
gold puffy sticker sheet which was um also with the may embellishment kit i think it was an add-on and then i'm adding some nouveau drops um i love my nouveau drops add them to um, most of my layouts and i like i like little sets of three And there I am done. Thank you very much for watching and hopefully I'll be back soon.